in a documentary about prison life, a female inmate being interviewed, laughing, seemed very happy and excited, thinking about what to do when she goes back into the society, how to enjoy her life. When asked what she wanted to do after doing about 10 years, she said that she wanted to go out on a date, some romance. When she was just saying she wants to enjoy her life after doing 10 years, all the viewers who were getting cringed at the scene, I mean, even frightened. Uh, because the, considering the span of time uh, she had been doing up until that point, and uh, people can just trace back 10 years uh, when uh, the horrific murder incident happened. Right in the evening, the little girl running back home. She was just expecting to see, as usual, her welcoming mother, loving mom, and her little younger sister. Later in the night, the father of the daughters, the husband of the wife, as he had come approach the inside of the house, the only thing he has, has ever felt was the like creepy silence, like, like before the storm, and the pitch black darkness when the first Toro and her father had approached inside the bathroom. There were two bodies lying prone onto the bathtub. The floor all overflown by blood. As it turned out, four teenagers were having sex in a group, playing around, and just, just need the money to rent a room. And they found they were only a mother and a three year old child in a neighborhood apartment during daytime. The mom of four evil teenagers broke into the apartment. They turned to the mother first. Two boys started beating the hair out of the mother, knocking her to the floor violently. She had barely just throw, crawled and escaped to the bathroom and locked the door of the bathroom. But the two boys just broke and smashed the door open. And uh, she was begging the two boys, please. Leave my baby alive. Without listening to her, they started stabbing her more than a dozen times until the whole bathroom floor was overflown by blood. Then they caught the baby very surprised. They signed to one another and said, Kill her. They picked up the bottle and smashed the baby's head. The blood was spouting up and splashed around the floor. Because of ridiculous Korean law, never have these evil personal information been opened in public. In Korea, because of the ridiculous Korean law, they cover up evil imprinters' faces with a mosaic. <laughs> for human life's sake. You know, they annihilated a family's lives. But because of the really, really ridiculous careers, um, underage protection law or something, they had been just sentenced to uh, a little more than a dozen years. Now, more than 10 years have passed. DJ Evers would pretty much have finished doing their time in prison. They would have been living somewhere 
maybe in your neighborhood. As they used to enjoy their lives, having sex. Something should be changed about this Korean underage crime law. Uh, there was a recent case where a wicked and evil boy was bragging after wounding the, the other boys seriously. Uh, the boy was bragging that he can get away with what he did because he was below realized age. They were, I mean, being aware uh, like this. They were taking ad age, advantage of their, their age. Uh, to get away with the horrific crimes, they should be wiped out. I mean, the, there should be some change in the law. All the viewers who watch this, please pray for the mother and three-year-old daughter who had been unjustly and cruelly dead by evil teenagers in her apartment, Hwasun, in Jeollanamdo in South Korea in 1997.